Hello Aries, welcome to Truth Well Told Tarot. This is Andrea and I'm here to do your weekly tarot reading for the sign of Aries, Sun, Moon, Rising and Venus and it will be from the 1st to the 7th of March 2021. So let's pull your overarching energy or message for the week Aries. Message for the week please, Angels, Spirits, Guides. Message for the week for our lovely Aries, thank you. I'm going to choose the card if it doesn't fall out freely because these cards are a little bit chunky. <laughs> so what do we have for Aries, please? Message for our lovely Aries. Thank you. There we have it. We Oh, wow. <laughs> we have the world. A brilliant success, a time of joyful accomplishment and spiritual enlightenment. Freedom to do whatever you want. Be proud of yourself. Wow. The world can be a card of goal achievement, victory, success. Um, completion as well. Uh, but it can be getting some kind of goal. But it's also an energy of ready to step through to a new phase of your life. Upon getting this achievement overcoming tests and challenges and learnt from them, learning lessons but not being held hostage to, hostage to them anymore. Okay, what do we have for Aries, please? Angels, spirits, guides, message for Aries. I have a woman holding a coin. Now that can be Queen of Coins energy. I'm feeling, for some of you, normally it's not gender specific in, in tarot, but I'm seeing the black cat, which is always a sign of good luck. Some kind of luck, and it feels some kind of offer opportunity. It feels like this woman is holding some kind of offer opportunity. Number 42. There's definitely this energy here, Aries. It feels like material gain, material success, accomplishment, or that kind of sign. Interesting energy. I don't think that has ever come out in the readings before. I mean, it's, been, it's in the deck, but it's never come out. So it's quite poignant that that's made an appearance because I don't ever think I've seen it in readings. We have asked for help from others. So other people could support you in terms of achieving some kind of goal, success, victory this week. Let's pull some cards. I'm intrigued. So what do we have for Aries, please? Angel Spirits Guides message for our lovely Aries. 1st to the 7th of March 2021. Thank you, Angel Spirits Guides. Some sign of success here. Message for Aries. Thank you. Message for our lovely Aries. Thank you. Nine of Swords. There you are, Aries. Three of Wands. Sun in Aries. That's the advice from Spirit. And we have the Seven of Cups. Okay, message for Aries, please. Angel Spirits Guides, message for our lovely Aries. Can we clarify the cards on the table for Aries, please? 1st to the 7th of March, 2021. Thank you. Okay. So we have the lovers with the Nine of Swords. Knight of Cups. Clarifies 
the Three of Wands, and we have the Three of Wands again with the Seven of Cups. Bottom of the deck, we have the Ten of Pentacles. It's interesting, Aries, because I definitely get this energy here of something affecting your relationship. I see these two people, it feels to do with, I mean, the lovers can be to do with a relationship or a decision in terms of relationship. It can be a choice. There could be some choice to make in a relationship here that's coming your way. But it definitely feels something that's caused some stress, anxiety, worry in your relationship. It, for some reason, it doesn't feel like it's in the relationship itself. It feels like something that's affecting the both of you. It's almost kind of like this is an umbrella energy for this. So yes, there may be some choices or decisions to make. Interestingly enough, the Nine of Swords in the challenge position is, is the worry, the stress, the anxiety is about to be released. Um, which is, is, is a nice energy. I like the Nine of Swords in the challenge position. But it's definitely, it definitely feels like something that's affected you. Or something in love is causing you a lot of stress, anxiety, worry. Let's clarify this, lovers. Let's clarify this, lovers, please. Angel spirits, guides. Let's clarify this lovers for Aries. Ah, okay. Four of coins. Some reservation. So in this context, it feels for some of you it feels in this energy that you are you are, I'm getting so many different energies with this. You are, there's an energy of you're reserved or the other person in this relationship is reserved. There is some kind of choice to make, but there's fear or caution or moving forward cautiously. It feels like it's to do with some kind of commitment. This nine of swords is, is stress, anxiety, worry. Someone is stressed, anxious, worried. It feels about making some kind of choice in terms of love, romance, relationships. Now again, this four of coins can also mean financial security. Being careful with money. Something causing you stress, anxiety, worry as a couple. So take what resonates with you. Let's clarify the Knight of Cups. For example, it feels like in this context, this woman holding a gold coin, it might well be for some of you, you might be asking somebody for a commitment or they might be asking you for the next level of commitment, maybe moving in together, setting up a home, family, relationship, marriage, um, call it what you will. It might well be somebody wants the next level of commitment from, from you. But like I said, this can equally be in terms of money career as well. Something that's affecting your relationship. Again, commercial energy. Of being careful with money and getting stressed about it. So let's clarify this Knight of Cups. Yeah, lack of clarity. I mean, someone can't make up their mind. I mean, there's definitely this energy of the Two of Swords weighing something up. There's definitely some kind of opportunity here, Aries. I mean, this is the Sun in Aries. 
the first signs of success, something good coming your way. And it feels like that is the Knight of Cups, the offer, the opportunity. You have an opportunity to, to go for this now. It, it, certainly in terms of love, romance, relationships, it feels in this context that there is some, uh, there is some opportunity. It feels like greater commitment. Someone wants greater commitment. And you, either you have reservations or they have reservations. Now, and you're weighing something up. You're not fully clear in terms of how you feel. Yeah. And there's an energy of waiting, waiting until things become clear on how you feel. Now, equally, that Knight of Cups can be to do with creative opportunities, opportunities close to your heart. So again, it does have some commercial energy to this too. There's a choice to make here, Aries. And, I, and I'm definitely feeling Ten of Coins. This is to do with hopes, dreams and wishes. Your hopes, dreams and wishes. Something good is coming your way. Um, so again, there could be some choice or decision here, but it definitely feels it's to do with material gain, um, getting some kind of goal achievement. So again, commercially, financially, the Ten of Coins can be a card of success, goal achievement. Equally, you making some choice or decision and the message is choose wisely because this is a karmic energy your choices have consequences both good or bad it's neutral energy but there's definitely an energy of choose wisely in how you take action now how you move forward i'm also getting this energy of some kind of time limit on this i mean it might resonate for some of you this some kind of time limit It's almost like somebody is wanting to know, certainly in terms of relationships, there is some kind of choice to make towards greater commitment, marriage. Are we going anywhere? Is this going to the next level or am I wasting my time? And I'm definitely getting this energy of somebody wants commitment here. Um, equally be, equally your hopes, dreams and wishes, some offer opportunity coming your way possibly from a woman in business, bringing some kind of goal achievement. So it is a general reading, Aries, and I'm definitely getting both energies. <laughs> it's almost kind of like the cards are the same. Take what resonates for you. But nevertheless, there is, you are on the threshold of stepping into a new phase of your life. There's definitely an energy if some phase of your life is about to complete successfully. And there is definitely the energy of you're ready to step through to a new phase of your life. It feels like some of you are waiting, maybe considering your options. But the message is don't wait too long because I've definitely got this energy of some kind of time limit before that ship sails. So, yeah, interesting energy, <laughs> Aries. Take what resonates for you as always. Yeah. We have find balance. Find the balance between work, rest and playtime and you will have more energy, harmony and productivity in your life. Take a power nap. I mean, the other thing is Aries and, you know, the reason why I'm picking up on those two areas might well be because you're dealing with those two areas. You might be dealing with things in business and you might be also dealing with things in a relationship. And you're kind of like, oh, I just need to deal with this and this area of my life before I make a decision on that, you know, and it's that area. But it feels like there is some time limit towards making some kind of commitment. There's definitely an energy of, of choose wisely, find balance in all things, give everything equal attention. 
and that's how you get the fulfillment you know the ten of coins the ten of coins can also be a committed relationship marriage long-term stability security uh, very good in terms of financial success as well financial security so it might well be for some of you the reason why i'm picking up on that is because one affects the other um but nevertheless i mean it's, it's a really positive energy um it feels all good here yeah so yeah i'm gonna pull one more card let's pull one more card two cards then okay <laughs> We have moon energy, surrender to the natural ebb and flow of life. If you're feeling confused, this fairy comes to calm emotions and reassure you that peace of mind is possible. It's interesting because we have the moon, which can be shadow energy, not being clear, and then seeing the light, getting clarity. So we have the fairy queen of light comes to shed love and light on your current situation and to remind you that light can penetrate the darkness. Feels like some of you are getting some clarity here in which way you want to go yeah message of definitely definitely choose wisely some karmic choices to make here but great hope streams and wishes are around you there's great promise this is a card of great promise uh so yeah i, I feel it's all good aries definite some kind of achievement victory ready to step through into a new phase of your life it's either next level in a relationship or some kind of goal achievement in terms of money career business like i said you might be dealing with both <laughs> so i hope you enjoyed the reading if you did please do like share and subscribe i hope it's a wonderful week for you all and i will see you next time thank you